Good morning. Uh, this is Darnelda Seegers, and this is the message from the mayor on Friday, June 5th. Well, since we've slowly been reopening the economy, it's been fun to see everyone's newly shorn hair on our Zoom meetings. Thank you to all our hairdressers and barbers who are cleaning up our mutilated hair. And thank you for not laughing about what we did while self-isolated. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the events that we've seen playing out in the United States. We are saddened and disgusted by the treatment of those of color, by the racism that we have seen displayed. Yet let's bring that home here. On a local level, here in our community, we are seeing individuals being attacked and judged for not wearing a mask or for something as simple as choosing to attend an event or not. If this is showing up in our community at this scale, you can bet it is showing up in other ways. This month is Pride Month here on the Sunshine Coast. Our LGBTQ2 plus community and those of color are those who are just different in some way. Tell us they experience shades of this discrimination day in and day out. So if you are someone who is calling someone else out for the choices they are making, stop. Take a step back and look at what you are thinking, what you are saying, and when you are projecting your views, your biases on others. As we progress through the BC Restart Plan, day in and day out, we are all making choices about how we engage with the greater community. We all come from different circumstances. This is an opportunity to show compassion and acceptance for each other's choices. I have been getting out a bit more, but I'm very conscious of my bubble. Some of you see me while I'm going grocery shopping, and most times I'm not wearing a mask. I have not felt the need to wear it. I do have it with me, but I've not felt the need to wear it. I carefully choose the time of day and even day of the week that I go grocery shopping so I can safely and easily ensure minimal interaction with others in the store. I also ensure I have a large window of time so that I can be patient while others shop around me. If I only have half an hour, I won't even go to the grocery store. While in the store, if someone does happen to come too close to me, I move away. Yes, sometimes someone will pass me in one of the aisles in the store and we each turn away to ensure we don't inadvertently even breathe on each other. This weekend, I am planning on attending a gathering in support of inclusion, love and peace. I will be wearing my face mask. However, if at any point I feel those around me are not respecting my bubble of six feet, I'll just leave. The choice is always up to me. Turning to municipal business. At the District of Seashell, we are looking to support businesses who need more space to make operating their business financially viable. Please consider making use of the space outside your business. The District of Seashell is open to reviewing your plan for an extended place of business in accordance with the province's relaxed guidelines until October 31st. Let's make Seashell a vibrant, happening, but still safe place this summer. And no, we don't have any intention to close Cowrie Street. Is that something we will entertain for the future? We haven't even discussed it, but I'm sure it will come up at some point. I'm going to wrap up on a positive note. Canada Day plans are being finalized. In the past, you came to the parade. This year, the parade is coming to you. Watch for more details in the newspaper and on social media. Canada Day Parade with a twist. In closing, I ask that you all continue to move forward, continuing to wash your hands, avoid touching your face, stay home if you are sick, and as always, stay six feet apart. Be calm, be kind, be coastal.